So you decided to grow chilli peppers. Well friends, that is an excellent choice indeed, and you have come to the right place. Chilli peppers are really easy to grow at home, and growing them will save you a lot of money when comparing against like for like organic. Uh, they open up a world of flavours and let you pick your spice level as you desire. So how do you get started? Well first of all, you'll need a packet of seeds. Buying seeds in a packet like this can be expensive compared to other vegetables. But there is nothing at all stopping you from saving seeds from your harvest last year or from any store-bought chilli pepper. Just cut it up, take the seeds and sow them for next year's harvest. Chilli peppers are notorious for taking a long time to germinate. To speed up germination, you can soak seeds in water or tea for 24 hours. And this will help the seed take on water, swell up and push out a root when you place it in the soil. Alternatively, using seeds from freshly cut chilli peppers bypasses the need for this, as the seeds should still be moist, coming in their original container. Now it's time to sow some seeds. To so take a small container, I'm using cells in a seed tray, but a pot or anything at all will do as long as you can keep the soil moist. Now add your seed starting mix. I'm using coconut coir with perlite, but anything light and fluffy will do here, as long as it retains moisture and doesn't dry out. And take your finger and make a small depression in the surface, just a couple of centimetres deep. Chilli pepper seeds are very, very small. So as a rule, small things should be sown near the surface, about twice as deep as they are wide. Then take your chilli pepper seeds and put them in the depression. Just place them on the surface. Uh, no need to poke them in and then you just cover them with a dusting of soil. Again, chilli seeds don't want to go deep at all. We just want to make sure that moisture completely surrounds the seed so it can germinate. The only exception to this is if you're growing in pots in a dry climate, perhaps you might want to firm the soil down a little bit just to help it retain moisture. I'm going to be using a propagator lid or a humidity dome, so this isn't going to be necessary. Then add water to the container. I prefer to bottom water by taking the container out of the tray. I fill the tray with water and then I return the growing container to the tray. This way the soil can soak up water without disturbing the seed. I'll come back in an hour and then I'll empty any water that hasn't been soaked up so that the seed and the soil isn't sitting in water. And that's really it. Place your container in a dark warm place and make sure the growing medium stays moist. Don't let it dry out as that will harm the seedling. Keep checking on your seedlings every other day and make sure the soil stays moist. By the end of the first week, maybe the second, you should see a couple of leaves poking up through the soil. As the seedlings get older, you'll want to transplant them to larger containers. And you'll need to keep doing this until they're ready to go outdoors. Then you can put them in the ground and wait a few months for a successful harvest. And there we have it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, press the like button and do press the subscribe button if you want to get more regular videos about how to grow food at home. And leave a comment in the comment section if you have tips and tricks for germinating seeds that you want to share with the community. Otherwise, see you next time and happy gardening.